Hi everyone, this is the second part of my tutorial and I'm back with more camera movement in Clip Studio Paint. This time I will guide you on how to make a zolly and tilt. The template link is in the description as usual, you can just use that if you like or continue watching the video to make your own. I'm going to start with a bit of trivia about the camera movement. First, the zolly is usually used to enhance a moment by strongly emphasizing or revealing something surprising. This effect itself is done by mixing, zooming in and dolly out or the other way around depending on which effect you want, either expansion or compression. The effect keeps the subject of interest roughly the same size, basically creating a warping effect around the subject. As for tilt, it can be used in many different ways depending on the camera angle and motion. But it's mainly used to reveal something or to leave the subject and move on to the next scene. Now let's create this movement in Clip Studio Paint. It's not hard to do the Zolly effect since we have the Dolly done in the previous video. If you haven't watched it or make it, you can get it from the template link in the description as well. Once we have the Dolly, basically all we need to do is just add an opposite zoom keyframe on top of it. Before adding the zoom, we need to decide which plane we want to focus on. And we'll start from the first frame. Now let's create a new layer for our guide outside of the group and begin marking the edge of the focus plane. Once that's done, we go to the very last frame and key the scale until it matches the marking we made previously. And then you can go to the midpoint or any point on the timeline and start adjusting it until the square marking remains the same size for the whole timeline. And there you have it, you just made the solid effect. You can decide and meticulously correct every single frame by keyframing as much as you need or you can let the plane to be offset a little bit and have a manual look on your solely. Because if you do this effect in real life manually without any motorized tools, you are bound to get this slight shift which in my opinion makes it a bit more interesting. You can also add fast in slow out or slow in fast out or slow in slow out to make a more dramatic solely. Next I'm gonna show you how to do the tilt. You can combine this with dolly if you like but you can do this effect on its own too. So the tilt is actually the opposite of the parallax movement. In parallax the plane furthest away moves the slowest and close plane moves faster but in tilt, it's the other way around. The furthest move a lot and the closer move less. This creates a tilting illusion. Now to do the tilt, we're going to use group and keyframing. Then we just need to structure the group to increase the X or Y shift exponentially. As for the transform value, I'll be using the spacing between each frame. For example, 3 space from plane 4 to 3, 9 space from 3 to 2, and so on. Then I'm going to use that as my scale. For example, if I increase the plane 1 by 100, I'll increase plane 2 by 90, plane 3 by 30, and so on. It's not accurate and more just guesswork, but I think you can get a decent result with this method. And if you reverse the structure, you can get a quick rough parallax without spending a lot of time using the perspective ruler. That's about it for the video. I hope it helped you to make a lot of different interesting camera movement for your art or animation. I'll be sharing some tips on how you can use the template in the next video. Bye bye.